Hey everybody, we have big news again from one of my favorite software, Chaos Vantage. A new version has been released, and you know that I've been a big fan of Vantage from the beginning. Let's talk about what's been added. You know when Vantage 2.0 came out, I had high hopes. And I did a lot of videos talking about some of the added functionality that they put in there. But you may also know that it didn't meet my expectations in all areas. For example, I wanted to be able to animate easier within Vantage. So I did a whole video integrating the new scene states, which I think are great, but I wanted to be able to animate between those scene states. Drag, drop, allow Vantage to create an automatic transition, and boom, an animation transitioning from day to night. But it didn't work. As far as I can tell, it doesn't work. The scene states can be assigned to individual cameras in the viewport, but for animations, they are set universally. There are also some other issues that limited Vantage previously from really being a powerful tool within my workflow. For example, I've always wanted it to have render elements. Those are there now. I also wanted it to be less noisy when navigating around in real time. There's a great new update regarding that, and we'll check that out. And in general, I just needed it to be a fully developed tool. Well, now with the release of 2.1.0, I think I'm finally there. I've loved the idea of Vantage. Now I see it as a more mature tool that really fits nicely into my workflow without any major limitations that would prevent me from using it. So let's look at the newer features that I think are really important, especially with this most up-to-date release 2.1, which was released just a few days ago. I think you're really gonna enjoy the things that you see, and I think the chances of you finding Vantage extremely useful for your workflow have just gone way up. So I'm gonna talk about the features, and I'm gonna put them to the test like normal. You'll see the results I'm getting, which I think are pretty good. You guys will tell me in the comments if you think they suck. But either way, by the end of this video, you'll have a good feel for what Vantage has to offer and what kind of results you can get and how to get them. All right, let's just jump right into it now. Okay, the big deal for 2.1.0, the latest release, is the addition of NVIDIA's DLSS denoiser. I have it enabled here, and you can see that as I'm moving around, things look quite good, not noisy, smooth, and my frame rate is around between 25 to up to 40, even with a big complex scene. It's not perfect, but it is smooth. Up here you have the performance slider, which is doing upscaling for us to kind of smooth things out. We can put it at full resolution, and you'll see that it won't be as kind of blurred or upscaled, but that is at the cost of our performance, our frame rate, which here is now in the sevens. So it's going to be a lot choppier, but it will add more detail as well. What I also find, if we go to here, Edit, Preferences, is that you can use this in combination with other denoising options. And that's what I suggest doing, because this NVIDIA Optics AI actually works better for giving you nice details once you stand still, but for moving around, nothing beats this DLSS re reconstruction. So you'll see that after 10 samples, it starts to use this NVIDIA Optics AI. But when moving around, this one is really handy because it keeps everything very smooth. So even in the performance mode, things look good. And then as soon as I stop, You'll see it switch, and then it starts giving you really nice detail without any noise. If the denoiser is off, you'll see what it looks like, especially when you move. It's extremely noisy and hard to tell what it's going to look like. So that's the big improvement. It's almost like being in a game engine. The, the fact that you can walk around it at speed, have a good frame rate, and everything looks smooth. Again, when I stop, you can see it refining, but it does not have the denoiser on, so it still looks pretty noisy. So that's the new DLSS denoiser. 
a big improvement in my opinion because now we can navigate around like this and everything looks pretty great. Don't forget that you can always also walk around your scene with navigation and you can even set it up so that you have obstacles to run into. So it's really like navigating like a, a game engine. So with the denoiser on, I think this works pretty well. We can put on collisions here. If you want to see all the different features that Vantage has to offer, then check out my other videos. I have some that are complete overviews of the software, and I have some that dive more in depth into, for example, scene states and animation within Vantage. So check those out. I'll have them linked below. One other note on the DLS S denoiser is that you may have to go and upgrade your NVIDIA driver to something above 537.13. As long as you do that and you have a GPU that is good enough, you should be able to have DLSS as an option in Vantage. Now let's talk about my favorite improvement that has been made since the release of Vantage 2.0. And that is the ability to animate within Vantage directly using scene states. So scene states are pretty easy to set up, and I've gone over them in other videos, how to use them. But now we can actually interpolate between them in order to create animation in our scene. Let's look at an example so we can see what kind of results are possible and how easy it is to create them. So here I have this scene, and I have a scene state called overall interior assigned to it. My scene states are here. There's an overall interior scene state here and it has a couple of substates assigned to it. I also have a scene state here called no chairs. And if I select that, it's just the same view, except I've moved the chairs over here off screen, which you can do in Vantage by selecting and moving with this tool here. So right now in the viewport, we're looking at the no chairs scene state, but we can also assign that to our camera. So if I put right click here and say no chairs, Okay, they're now gone. And I have this other camera view here too. And it's going to have a scene state assigned to it called overall interior. Okay, and of course in that one, the chairs are back. We need to focus them. So we have this one and this one. And the main difference between them is the scene state. And you can see even now when I switch between them, it is basically animating and update that camera and this one as well okay but we can also export this in the animation let's just delete all in here for now and just drag the no chairs version in the chair version i'm going to make a linear transition and i'm going to set the duration to six seconds then when we hit play it interpolates between the no chairs and the chairs version maybe a little too slow you could adjust that and why would you want to animate it like that anyway i don't know but it does show that you can animate objects within chaos vantage by simply using the scene states but the part where I really like it is to use it for lights, because as you may know from other videos, I wanted to animate a day to a night scene and transition seamlessly by animating scene states in Vantage. And up until now, it has not worked. But with the release of 2.0.1 and 2.1.0, we now have that capability. So let's look at that as a quick example. Let's delete this animation here first and go to another scene. Here we have more of a dusk scene in the interior. And up here we have a similar camera view, the one we want to start with. And it's more of a daytime scene. So I have the environment, the fog, and a couple other things set up in sub-scene states. 
also the location of the sun. Okay, and in this scene state, the sun is lower, the fog has gone down, and some of the lights in here have gone up, all saved using scene states. And of course, we can animate between them. If I drag this one in here, and this one in here, you can see that the scene states are assigned to the cameras, and that actually sticks when we drag them into here for animations purposes. Let's say 10 seconds between these, and then we just hit play. You can see our sun going down, our light changing. If you look back here, some of these lights go up, fog goes down. We can put a pause after this, add a pause of three seconds, and now we have an animation of the daytime changing, and it's as simple as that. Of course, when you render this out, you can do lots of samples, up the time, and really make it look sharp and clean, and make these transitions really smooth as well. So this is just kind of a preview of what you get, but it does a very good job to show you what your lighting situation is going to be like. So hopefully you can see how handy Vantage is to have, to, look, to walk around your scene in real time, set up cameras, compose shots, compose animations, and now even add simple animation to your scene, all with real-time viewing. I'm a huge fan of real-time, and I've said it a million times, there's no, there's no other way to animate cameras than in real-time. With direct feedback on depth of field, with the composition, the timing, all these things, it just has to be done in real-time, and Vantage is a great tool to do it, and it keeps getting better. One final look at a few additions they've made. Probably the biggest one here is the fact that now there is support for refraction glossiness. Okay, in ArcViz, we use refraction glossiness all the time for frosted glass, for example. It is now supported in Chaos Vantage. So, again, they continue to add features that ArcViz artists find useful and that they need on a day-to-day -day basis. I know what everyone's going to say in the com comments. No displacement yet? This is worthless. Well, here's a whole scene that is working, in my opinion, quite nicely without any displacement. And at the rate that Chaos Group is improving Vantage, I suspect that someday soon that will be integrated. I don't know. You guys let me know. Is Vantage a useful tool to you? Is it getting better and better? Have they made the additions that you need in order to add it into your workflow. And if you're not using Vantage, what are you using? I'd love to hear from you guys about your workflows and your opinions on the matter. I like Vantage because it integrates so smoothly with V-Ray, which I already use extensively on almost every project. And getting it from there to here is entirely seamless and easy. So those are the Vantage updates. I think they're great. Let me know what you think. Please like the video if you find this information useful and if you want me to continue making videos. And please subscribe, it really helps me out. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.